meteorologist Damon Matson joins us once again. I'm looking forward to going down to visit the Tidal Basin, That's but right. hopefully when I do go down, the winds won't be blowing like they have over the last couple of days. I'm just thankful that it looks like the trees survived most of yeah. this wind. Some parts of the region, other trees didn't. That's the crazy part we had to deal with here. Hey, I guess, you know, we're lucky. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if as long as you avoided some of those down trees and power lines, yeah. I'd say yes. We did not catch the brunt of this storm because, folks, it was sort of the perfect combination. We had a lot to deal with from this storm system over the weekend. That right there is a live shot. This is all the way out in Garrett County, far western Maryland. We had some parts of the region pick up snow on top of everything else. Definitely looking like winter out that direction. But if we take a look back here into D.C., no snow to be found. Thank Thankfully enough, but we certainly are still dealing with the wind that is gusting out there quite a bit. There's the camera shaking for us looking back toward Roslyn and yes, we had this consistent wind on the backside of this latest storm system on top of a lot of fresh rainfall. Some parts of the region picked up two inches of rain before the wind kicked up and when you have a saturated ground like that with very strong wind gusts soon to follow, that's what's going to knock down those trees and those power lines and cause those major issues. And here's a good look. Currently, we still have wind speeds. These are steady wind speeds of 20 to 30 miles per hour, especially across the northern half of the DMV here, north of the DC Metro up into the eastern panhandle parts of western and central Maryland. And then look at these wind gusts. We are still not out of the woods yet in terms of these stronger gusts. All the red you see on the map here are those gusts exceeding 35, even 40 miles per hour like we have in Westminster at this point. But there are some isolated pockets, especially as you head toward the higher terrain of gusts getting closer to 50 miles per hour at this hour here, folks. So yes, things are still not that great in terms of the wind. Now, power outages. We had a lot more going on this time yesterday when the worst of that wind was really working its way through. We still have some power outages in Prince George's County, still about a thousand according to our map here in Fairfax County. So the crews are out there trying to recover from this the best they can get that power restored. And thankfully, these numbers are dropping, but it probably won't be until tomorrow when the wind finally calms down that we can totally alleviate any issues from this wind. And here's a good look at that. Again, these are wind gusts as we go later into the afternoon. We're still looking at the potential of some wind gusts approaching 35, 40, maybe even up to 50 miles per hour in some very localized areas. That's what this yellow and orange really starts to show. Now, that was 2 p.m. Here we are at 4 p.m. There's less yellow and orange on the map. And as we go on towards 6 and 7 o'clock, there it is even more so. Those stronger gusts really start to alleviate and leave us alone. They're gone by the time we get into this evening, the overnight hours. Now, by no means is it going to turn totally calm tonight and then going into the day on Tuesday. We may even see a little bit of breeziness kick back up once again. But overall here, folks, after this afternoon, we are done with some of the strongest wind across the area and we should not be having to deal with the brunt of the wind behind this storm system as we head toward the middle of the week. So things are looking up after today. Not only do we lose the wind, but we also see a massive jump in our temperatures. We're going to be sunny with temperatures approaching 70 degrees tomorrow, Wednesday, even on toward Thursday. We'll be approaching that 75 degree mark. Our next chance of any unsettled weather does not show up until we get into the day on Friday.